Hello guys, welcome to Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create the new issue type in the Jira as an administrator and then how you can associate that new issue type to any of the project so that uh, so for example in your organization you have multiple projects and there is a requirement from the projects that uh, a particular project is a development project uh, or a group of development project and they need a particular task to be created so for example a QA task or um, any any other uh, you know like a feature feature request task so any those sort of um, uh, tasks uh, that are required or issue issue type that are needed by uh, the specific project you can create them uh, as a jira admin and then the those tasks can be associated with the projects so let's go to the project administration section and go to the issues and in the issues issue types you will see that all the available issue type that are there at the moment in this jira instance so you have bug epic improvement new feature story task test and subtask now they'll show you not you the type of these issues and then what are the related schemes so basically which project or which issues issue type schemes are using these particular issue types you'll see all this list here so basically this particular issue type bug is used in um, many different project or scrum issue type scheme as you can see here similarly epic uh, improvement is only for software development issue type scheme and new features software development issue type scheme however the rest are being shared by many other issue type schemes so mostly um, all the projects that are here are sharing this particular sharing these particular issues now if there is a requirement to create a new issue type in the right hand side at the top you will see add issue type and then i'll say qa tasks so for example i have a requirement to create a qa task which is a standard issue type so there are two types here to select so you can create a subtask issue type so uh, if you select subtask issue, issue type then that will be basically um, can be uh, created as a subtask within the issue but if you select the standard issue type when you click on create button you can select is as is a, it as a standard issue type um in the uh, issue creation so i'll just put the description as qa task and click on add now once you add this you will see the qa task has been added and by default the default issue type scheme has already been uh, related so to this issue type right so if i edit that and you can select the avatar for that particular issue type so i'll choose an image and update that now this issue type is available in the jira instance and what this means is that all the projects who need this particular issue type they can use this particular issue type in their projects so the advantage of you of creating the new issue type is basically um, you don't need to update any of the existing issue type uh, which are being shared by all different projects so for example if you are updating any of these issue type for example bug and epic then all these projects which are using it all these scheme type or issues issue type scheme that are using it everywhere the update will be reflected so all the projects that are using these particular issue type will be impacted now if you're creating a new issue type um, then that particular new issue type you can associate with an individual project or with the multiple project whosoever need them so the first thing to keep in mind when you are creating the issue type is basically to do a lot of investigation and business analysis with the stakeholders or the people who need that particular task and then make sure that um, if there is uh, something um, coming up from multiple teams however all those uh, tasks can be addressed by adding just a single tasks a uh, single task 
you can make a generic task which fulfills the needs of all those projects and just create one task and these projects can share that particular task so i'll show you once um, the task has been created how the project um, can basically use this particular task so for example if a project say for example rcv academy online portal wants to use this particular task in the task list when they create the issue so they want this QA task to appear in the list as well. What they can do is um, they can just go to the project settings, right? So at the moment you can see that uh, the, the issue type scheme is scrum issue type scheme. So if I go to this issue type scheme and here I'll see what all workflow is associated with all these issue types a software simplified workflow for rop when then default field configuration and then which screen configuration is available uh, or associated with each of these issue types so um, story epic task test um, subtask are using scrum default issue type issue screen and then bug is using scrum bug screen now what we can do is we can just uh, click on actions and click on edit issue type and here you can see that the new task that we added is available in the available issue types now if in this particular scheme I want to add QA task right then that will be available for this particular project only and it won't be impacting any other project so this won't be available in any other project so you have to um, go into the issue type scheme for each project in which you want to add this particular issue type and then you you can also um, you know number or um, change the ordering of these issue types so for example i want epic and then story and then um, the task and then qa task subtask uh, so if I want to order like that, I can do the ordering and click on save, right? So once it is saved, you can see the QA task is available um, in this ROP scrum issue type scheme. Now, if I click on create and in this particular, um, so that's particular, that's the project ROP. And then if I click on the drop down, I can see the QA task is available there. If you click on next, uh, then test QA task, I'll just create a QA task and a QA task has been created. Now if I click on create and select any other project and then see whether that QA task is available, no, that is not available in any other project, right? So if other project wants to use that particular QA task they have to um, you have to go into the other project and then go into the project settings and uh, scrum issue type scheme and then associate basically associate that particular task or drag and drop this task from the available issue type to the uh, issue configuration uh, scheme and save it so going back to the issue types again now what you should and should not do with the issue type so for example here you can see now that the QA task I have assigned it to um, basically scrum um, issue type scheme for RA project and ROP project now in case you edit this particular task here what will happen is it will impact the both the projects so if i say edit it and save it it will impact all these schemes or all these projects so if if i go back to the project and see this particular new task that we got that we created so you can see qa task edited it, the task type got changed to edited and that is the main reason why you shouldn't um, update the issue type here because a particular issue type if it is a large organization it is shared with lots and lots of projects and if you update or edit a issue type in here 
then all the projects that are using this particular issue type will be impacted by this change so the uh, the only reason you should be doing is uh, only if it is very critical requirement and the need by all the project and stakeholders to be changed to something else but um, while initial configuration you should do a lot of business analysis around the issue type and uh, what are the types that you need to be adding and only then you should be starting with adding the new issue type so that you don't um, get into the issues in the later phases so hope you like the tutorial on um, creating the new issue type and associating it with the project um, thank you for watching